Ta-da! Well, howdy do. This is Tom Beer Whisper, and I've got another one that I got from the Brew Guru, John Sterdomsky Service Brewing Company. I've never had anything from them. It says SBC, which is a little confusing for me because I have Springfield Brewing Company, which also SBC, but there you go. <laughs> uh, Service Brewing Company, Compass Rose, India Pale Ale, uh, 6%. It says a very small print on the can. doesn't give IBUs on the can or the website. Um going to try to read a little bit from their can if my eyes will adjust. The nautical compass rose has helped mariners find their way for centuries. Our compass rose IPA honors those who have dedicated themselves to building the proud tradition of our Navy. Like a ship charging across friendly waters, this American IPA balances a medium-bodied malt presence with a bitterness that does not overpower with its hot forward taste of refreshing citrus and floral notes this is a brew for the high sea citrus and floral notes it's both citrus and floral how about that so here i'm using my white river belgian glass here as you can see pours very nice uh, kind of a cloudy orange or a light amber, I guess, with a nice kind of a off-white or kind of a light tan, I guess probably better describes it. Light tan, kind of dense head. Uh, aromas are very nice. I'm getting a lot of citrus, uh, specifically some tangerine zest. It was the first thing I noticed. Oh, it's very nice. Um, yeah, okay, they say medium bodied. What the hell? I'll go with that. Some nice going on. Not uh, nice going on. Nice malts going on in the middle is what I meant to say. Sometimes my mouth moves faster than my brain does. Especially after, you know, a beer or two or, you know, a few. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I'm detecting some stone fruit there about the middle. I'm getting a lot of other citrus spread throughout. Uh, again, I'm going to go back to tangerine. Amongst others. <laughs> oh, who the hell knows, right? <laughs> You know, we all taste different things, right? It, it just cracks me up how many beer, so-called beer reviewers, I don't call myself a beer reviewer, by the way. I'm a beer enthusiast. I'm a guy who talks about beers. My The segments I do are drinking with the beer whisperer. They're not beer reviews with the beer whisperer. They're drinking with. I'm having a beer with you, and I, can, I might talk about any damn thing. Who the hell knows? But <laughs> there are so many guys out there, and girls, who are just so convinced about every word they say is the absolute gospel. We're all just telling you our opinion. Nothing anybody says is the gospel truth. There you go. <laughs> That's just the way it is, man. This is an enjoyable beer. I've never had anything from this brewery before. Uh, again, this one came from John Sterodumsky, the brew guru, Compass Rose, Indie Pale. I love trying new stuff. I really do. It gives me a woody, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's got a nice color. You know, um, I think sometimes people forget that beer, well, beer is food. But beer's a lot like food, you know. When you get it, you go out to eat, you get a nice plate of food and it looks a certain way, you're already excited before you start tasting it. If it looks bad, you're already thinking, oh, I don't know. But if, it's, if it looks inviting, I think the same way goes for a beer, you know. If it looks inviting, you're already, in, in your mind, you're already thinking, oh, and then you... Do the aroma, you're thinking, oh, then you take a drink, but but you're already, you know, you're already thinking positive, and, and that, that's what it's all about. You got to start positive to finish positive. It's a very nice IP. I'm trying to. I was. I got quiet for a second there because I was trying to decipher a few flavors that, <laughs> that I haven't quite put my finger on. Again, I said I was getting some stone fruit there in the middle, but I'm getting some other things. Uh, 
I was getting some slight spicy, almost coriander-like notes. There's no coriander in here, but I'm, you know, kind of spice-like notes. Kind of brighten up the tongue at the end. Hmm. It's a very enjoyable beer. Yeah, I, I, I would say um, this is a, a nice spring-summer IPA. There are some IPAs out there that are richer in malt that, that, that you really think more of in, in the fall and winter. This one is very bright. It's very citrusy. Uh, it's very aromatic. Uh, I, I would, this is a, a very nice spring summer kind of IPA. It's got some body to it. It's not lazy. But it doesn't have too much malt. Again, it's got some hop. It's certainly got some bitterness, but not too much. It never overtakes the malt. And I, I kind of maintain that uh, the best IPAs are the ones that where the hops don't overpower the malts and shove them down, which are IPAs that are popular these days, by the way, but are malts that kind of make the malts shine even more. It's like adding good seasoning to good food. You know, if you got a steak and you add the exact right seasonings, those seasonings make the meat taste better. And I think it's the same thing with beer, it, it, putting the right hops in the right order, in the right amount. elevates the malt as well just and it just gives you an all-around better experience to again too much seasoning on food and you've killed it you know and i think it's the same thing with beer too much hops and you've killed it and it's good for a few sips it may be good for half a beer but at some point you're thinking damn it's missing something you know <laughs> Uh, this is a damn fine beer, and I didn't realize till just now. I looked at the timer on my camera. I've been rambling my ass off for about seven minutes. <laughs> Sorry, John. Man, sometimes I do that. It's a nice beer. Uh, it is. Uh, everything seems to work in it. It's put together well, and it's, it's a good pub beer, right? I wish I was drinking this in a pub with John right now, because this is a, this conversation we'd be having. <laughs> we'd be going back and forth about how we look at beer and that kind of thing, and that's what I love about craft beer and uh, drinking in general. That's all I'm doing to bear with for a See you later.